day new songs mentally you must be ready yeah. emotionally you must be ready physically you must be ready your game plan must be proper mm. what type of brand are you going there to represent what type of person do you want to be seen as mm. so yeah wow okay <laughs> hey guys hey there welcome to my channel if you are a first time viewer welcome to my channel if you are a returning viewer or subscriber welcome back my name is Yolo Kazikaki and as you can see today I'm not by myself I am with the beautiful Minente aka Mimi <laughs> wow I've never heard anyone say aka and say my name wow wow you know everything happens for the first time Thanks, to you. Um, anyways, um, Umini um, is a woman of many talents. She um, studied BA Laws at UKZN. She was in the SRC. She has been emceeing. She was in, in Nectars. Um, she was in Top 16 Idols essay. She was also in, um, oh my gosh, I've been in so many my things. My Kitchen Rules. My Kitchen Rules. She's Radio DT. Radio DT. And currently she's in um, East Coast Radio on Sundays. You know. Like she's she's a woman of many talents. Welcome to my channel. Thank you, darling. Thank yes. you, darling. So, what's it like? Since it's Women's Month, I just want her to share with us her journey and um, Uguti. How does she manage to not give up? Because she's always aiming for something higher, something better in life. And Jay, she is a go-getter, guys. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> So, Mini, please do tell us about um, UKZ at first, because I believe that's where everything started for you. You know, actually, darling, things started yeah. back in primary school. I went to New Germany Primary. Okay. Um, actually, even before New Germany, it was CV Primary. I went to CV Primary for like a year. Mm -hmm. And I remember my teacher was Mrs. Ram Govan, and mm. she was choosing Indian dancers, dancers to do the Indian dance. Yeah. And I really wanted to do this Indian dance. I remember the moves it was. And I was so good, I was shining. <laughs> now the thing is, she wanted to take me out because I was very slow with my schoolwork. Like I would write okay. very slowly. Even also finish first. Okay. So So she wanted to take you out too? Out of the dancing group. Oh, but I really okay. wanted to dance and she okay. saw my talent. She was like, everyone look at how many is doing it. Everyone must do it like her. Yes. You know? <laughs> and I think she took me out. I was very sad. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, yeah. look where I am today. Yes. <laughs> From there, I went to Germany Primary, and um, there was a teacher who then realized that I can sing. Her name is Mrs. Human. Wow. Um, auditioned for the choir, mm -hmm. and then she was like, "Hey, would you like to come to um, music lessons and drama lessons?" Yeah. Then I started to go to those music and drama lessons. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely amazing. I that's where I think my love for old school music actually started yeah where because in those musicals darling we only sang songs from the <laughs> 80s and 70s like we built this city oh, oh. we oh. built this city rock and roll you know those those vibes oh, yeah um <laughs> but that's where i you know my groove for that type of music started yeah. and then moving on from there of course, I did a lot of musicals in primary school, mm -hmm. and then entered into Pine Town Girls. And Pine Town Girls, that's when you meet a bigger pool of people with a whole lot of talent. Yeah. And that's where the real competition starts. Yeah. Where you start to see, okay, I need to work on my craft. because I need to work on this it, and that. Yes, yes you know. Okay. And then that's when you start to see, oh my gosh, Ekaya were a sicko right? Because then mm. that's when you're exposed to oh, yeah. everyone so else true. and everything that's else. So true, yeah. Because I started doing musicals outside of high school even. Okay, when when you were at high school, mm. did you join any choir and... Because oh, I remember at my high school, I also wanted to join, but I couldn't, I can't sing. <laughs> but I'm going to I like things, I'm a like her things. Yes. And like you used to audition yeah. to be in the choir. Yeah. And then they'd cut you off if yeah. you're not good like myself. So for you, was was it like that? Did you guys have my auditions? And were you like one of the top people were like, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I don't know about top people because <laughs> wow, girls, the Panzer girls could actually sing. Like, yeah. wow, I can name them even off my head. Yeah. But yes, we did audition. I was in the, um, real, there's, we, there was a 
okay, a school choir, yeah. which is organized by a choir teacher who was oh, Mrs. Sticks. Mm -hmm. This is a do, 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 okay. type of choir. Okay. And then there was the assembly choir. The yeah. do, 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 Mm. You know oh, the, the vibes. Yes, uh, the vibes. Uh, uh, so I was in both uh, choirs. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my gosh, it was the best time of my life. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed the assembly choir as well because the assembly choir really introduced me to um, the difference of worship when you're yeah. going to give praise and drawing the line between worship and performance in worship. With mm -hmm. Mrs. Dick's choir, the very, you know, opera like yeah. um, choir, it taught me a lot of vocal different dynamics different oh, okay. dynamics of how to use your voice and okay. skills and the fact that i was singing in the wrong way and oh, i was okay. taught how to sing the right way okay. so high school was literally the breathing ground of my career because that's when i started leaving school because i had to go to auditions had to do plays so i leave school to come back and clapping we are mm -hmm. two weeks, so pull me school early mm -hmm. and we had to grab a few notes so, so yeah. I, I guess even Way back in high school, you already found your purpose in life. Oh, right? what it was! No, baby, game. Singing was like you. Entertainment industry was like you. Can, I would you, can hate, you put it like that? I would hate to lie to the person watching right now and yeah. say, "I always knew." There's someone mm -hmm. going through a journey that I went through, yeah. where you you know what you love doing, um, but you're not so sure if it's actually your purpose because. You like doing so many different things. So like I was yourself. I was doing entertainment, but at school I was also in mm -hmm. different organizations. These organizations would yes, be. Yes, I remember. Um, I remember there's Pants and Girls High Society. Mm -hmm. um, we had organizations like um, there was a lot that I was doing. Yeah. So I so knew I was a community activist, yourself. but I was also an entertainer. Mm -hmm. Where do I draw the line? Can I do both? I was in this. I don't know. Bye. You can do all things through Christ. <laughs> so, anyways, then take us um, through your journey, Eli um, How did you find yourself, and like, how did you basically find Wuti? Okay, now this is where I fit in. Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. So I finished high school, mm -hmm. and when I finished high school, yes. Um, what happened is, I get a bursary. Jesus, my God. To study drama wherever I want in <gasps> South Africa. This really? is after a moderator had seen me um, perform. And this moderator was like, oh, you know, um, you were so good, blah, 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 blah. He has a pursuing and all that vibe. Mm. And at that point, I knew I loved drama, but I wasn't sure mm. if that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Because I've heard some, of so many people that yes. study drama then end up working and retail for the rest of their life. Yeah, yeah. And I knew that's not what I wanted to do with my life. But to work in retail. Mm -hmm. And I loved entertainment. So I started doubting my own skill. Yeah. And so I'm like, actually, actually I can do this. Let me go study no, drama. But then like um wasn't there any people that you looked up to like in the entertainment industry and you're like, no. I am going to be like that person. I'm not going to end up working in the retail um, industry, whatnot. You know, those people are there. But if you don't have direct access to them and they're not here, um, mm -hmm. you start making irreality go into interpretai. Yeah. Where you start comparing yourself without realizing that no one has an easy journey in anything. That's so true. So you start being afraid of the challenges that might come with mm -hmm. this desired dream. Mm -hmm. So my metric was studied Amalite and Kindling, like Sasfunda mm -hmm. with candles. Yeah. And we're actually going to a pretty good school. Mm -hmm. But so I didn't believe that I was gonna pass my trick very well because we're studying mm -hmm. in the dark, both of my sister and I. Yeah. But baby girls, we did the things, we got our <laughs> distinctions, and that's yeah. when I arrived in the parking at UK's at mm -hmm. And then I'm like my mom's like, so, because I had, I wanted to study drama, and my parents are like, no, no one studied, yeah. I said, nah, I need to study drama, and I can I think that you guys as a family, are you guys are like political, because your sister is very much hands-on in <laughs> politics, and you were sort of like, also hands-on in politics, in university, so mm -hmm. is it like a thing of, to like, hi, sunuguti? You know, it doesn't happen like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not forced upon us. Um, like, for example, when I got to varsity, mm -hmm. and then I, I, I begged my mom to study drama. Eventually, she's agree, she agrees and mm -hmm. dad agrees. Then I get to varsity and I'm like, actually, 
I want to study law. Yes. Everyone's like, oh, I was like, I because now they, I had ten, I had forced them to allow me to study what oh, I wanted yeah. for free. Now they have to pay. Oh, yes. And there's barely any money. Oh, okay, and there's two yeah, of us yeah, coming yeah. to varsity. Uh, what does this girl want from us? <laughs> you know? So at this point, um, yeah. my sister then joins politics. Mm-hmm. And I choose to go the community activist route. That's when I, I found something that identifies with me. And that was an Actors UK event. Oh, okay. So it wasn't forced upon us. It's just been we have conversations about Mm -hmm. politics, we'll have debates, we'll challenge my father, we'll challenge my mother, we'll challenge Mm -hmm. each other, Mm -hmm. challenge everyone in the family. Like my my family as a whole has very strong political views and being somehow involved in politics some way or another. Okay. So yeah. And sorry about that. Sorry about like talking while you're talking. But and then when when you started sort of like going back to your purpose which is like entertainment industry and you had schoolwork so what was that like for your parents when you were like man just saying for me radio duty i want to do my kitchen rolls i want to do this i want to do that i want to <laughs> baby girl baby girl i put my parents through the most like mm. the absolute most um one moment I want to study drama and I want to study law. The next moment I go audition for idols and mm-hmm. then I don't make it. And yeah. then I go audition for idols and I make it to top 16. Then next thing I'm leaving school. Mm-hmm. Then I come back and I, um, Radio Duty didn't puzzle me say anything. You're okay. It was fine because okay. it was after school hours. Okay. And the next thing I'm leaving school again for my kitchen rules. Then I come back and go, actually parents, peace out. I need a break from school. <laughs> but we're taking a break. <laughs> I'm going to hop out somewhere. Then I'm saying, depression phase. I need a break. I need to yeah. tap out. It's time. Uh, was was you know? like the a phase for you where you felt like you don't know what to do. Like you said, de- depression phase. Oh, man. Was there like ever a, a time whereby you felt like, I'm going to get your kid. Let me just, I'm throwing in the towel. I I'm, knew. I'm done. I knew I would die without entertainment. That's mm. the thing with purpose when it when it catches you up just with you. Know. You just know. You just know. That's and so I true. think that's where my depression came in and the fact that I knew what my purpose was, mm. but I didn't know what to do. Mm. And I'm and I'm, I'm in a space where I'm unhappy. I would stay mm. at rest the whole day and not leave. People would come knock and I like like a geek. <laughs> <laughs> like I knew depression wasn't my white thing. When oh my it, god! It, when it, when I, do hey I do that sometimes. I do that sometimes. So, Jay, baby girl. But yeah. um, after Idols Top Six, and how was Theatre Week? Yo! Tell us about Theatre Week. I, I, yeah, Theatre Week for me was stressful. I arrived there. I had prayed. Yes, prayer is everything, guys. And. I, I remember being at the beach. My girls and I were out. We were mm-hmm. somewhere in Salt Rock, Salt Rock for my for my friend's birthday. And I remember it was raining. And I walked out, and where we had booked the beach was right outside. Mm-hmm. And I walk out and I start praying in the rain. And we were about to leave for the to week, like in a week's time. And I'm praying and I'm giving thanks to God. I'm like, oh mm-hmm. God, if I just make it to the top sixteen, mm-hmm. I will know that you are there mm. you are kings of all kings mm. i fasted i prayed and god gave me just what i want and that's where it stopped mm. i got what i prayed for and yeah. what i learned from that is that do not limit god yes god when wow. you say you want something for god yes. he gives it to you exactly the way you want it. be specific yes. in your prayers yes wow something i always say to even my whatsapp followers and mm. instagram followers then it's be specific with your prayers because God mm-hmm. is listening and he gives you exactly that. Mm-hmm. Like when I look back and I, I'm just going through my audition, I'm like, I, I, I would have never put me through because of that sound. But because I prayed. <laughs> and you and said, I that, want this. And God was like, okay, my child is a And, and it was hard. And yes. it I exist. Me, I exist. Me, I exist. Wow. And it was fun. Like, mm-hmm. it was fun, but there was a lot of pressure. Um, I realized then that if any ever you want to go to idols, make sure you are prepping your voice yeah. over and over again. You mm. are practicing. You are ready for that 
Because it's intense. You're singing every single day. New songs. Mentally, you must be ready. Yeah. Emotionally, you must be ready. Physically, you must be ready. Your game plan must be proper. Mm. What type of brand are you going there to represent? What type of person do you want to be seen as? Mm. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs>